Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. As you should see, as you should know, I did my live stream a few days ago about how to create an amazing solid plan for your Ramadan in just 30 minutes. So if you, have, if you weren't there with me live, and if you haven't watched the whole thing, it's fully there on this YouTube channel. It's the most recent video before this one. Go check it out. If you haven't planned your Ramadan, I promise you it's not too late, you know. Uh, there's like two thirds of the month left, and this is like the best month. So even, even like 10 solid, solid days in this month is, is a lot. So you don't want to think, you know, think things are over and it's too late, right? So go plan your Ramadan if you haven't planned it. And I promise you, literally, watch that video. It'll take you half an hour. Go through a video, follow the instructions, and you'll come away with a solid plan, okay? Now, I just want to add a, like a kind of extra bonus thing, I suppose, that goes along with that video, which is, what do you do if you, you've made your plan, you're trying to follow through with it, trying to commit, but you're actually failing? You're actually not being consistent with those goals. Again, don't... Uh, don't you know smack yourself up about it you you've got to do what is necessary to get the most edger right not to feel the best about yourself but to get the most edger so firstly what i would say is have the mindset that having good ramadans and really having a good life having consistent life full of good deeds it's something that uh, it's something that you can build up to so as long as allah allows you to live as long as you're alive you get in the mindset of year by year i'm getting better so one ramadan i will read uh, five pages a day and the next ramadan i'm gonna read seven pages a day and the next ramadan i'm gonna read 10 pages a day and as long as allah permits you to live you've got the intention that i'm gonna keep improving and improving and and allah knows your intention right so allah may he may uh, reward you even if you die earlier than reaching uh, 20 pages a day or whatever so 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 have that mindset that this is a long-term thing as long as you're alive you're gonna keep improving you're gonna keep adding and so it's not like this Ramadan must be amazing it's this Ramadan needs to be consistent needs to be good and next Ramadan I'm gonna increase and increase as I get used to these things and as I get good at them if you like um, so that's the first thing is have that mindset of long-term improvement yeah uh, don't be impatient basically don't be impatient just to feel good about yourself instead instead of just trying to feel good about yourself and yeah I did this and that instead I would say um, you know just have the have the mindset the good mindset of consistently improving bit by bit one second okay so that's the first thing is have that solid mindset now the second thing I would say is to okay let's say your goal was read 10 pages of Quran every single day after Fajr, let's say, yeah, um, starting from the beginning till the end. Okay, that's your goal. You've written it down in that solid format that lets you know everything you need to know and, and not have any excuses for not doing it, not being confused about what exactly you should be doing. You, you've got it all down, yeah, you know what you're doing now, uh, but you're still failing. You're, you're some days you're not doing anything, some days you're reading just three pages, four pages, and and after two days of doing that, you just feel like uh, you kind of failed. Okay, now. What do you do about this? What I would do, okay, if you failed like two days in a row, what I would do is I would actually change the goal. And I would say, I'm gonna read three pages a day. Or let, let's say if you're consistently reading three pages every single day, um, instead of the 10, then I would say, yeah, now my goal is three pages. If you're reading three pages and you're finding yourself able to, to read five pages, then read five as a bonus, like add the little bonus. But basically, you could call this adaptive goals. So you set your goals, you thought it was realistic to read 10 pages a day. Turns out you're not quite used to it. Turns out you're more tired than you feel you'll be, you thought you would be, etc. So you gotta adapt because the number one priority is consistency more than anything. So therefore, you change your goal to before when you're setting your goals you were estimating you were saying I think I could do 10 pages a day turns out no what you're actually able to do right now is five pages a day so do five pages a day last 10 days you might want to turn it up a notch right but again lower your goal to what's consistent and inshallah if you live till next Ramadan between now and that next Ramadan 
you're going to be reading constantly, constantly getting used to it. And then next Ramadan, you could do a higher goal. Okay? So you've got to adapt based on what's real. Otherwise, what will happen is, unfortunately, what is likely to happen is that you say, no, no, I'm going to do 10 pages, I'm going to do 10 pages. And then you end up doing zero pages because every day you are failing. So we want to set ourselves up for momentum and to feel momentum like we're getting somewhere. And so therefore, you want to have a lower goal, but a goal that you're going to absolutely do every single day. So this is basically it. This is the, my tips for if things aren't going so well. If you thought, if you overestimated yourself, um, this is what I would recommend doing. Um, and yeah, I just want to really emphasize on this whole thing of consistency. And once Ramadan is over, you should continue two or three of your goals, but on a lower level. So if your goal was to read 10 pages a day, and you did that successfully, then after Ramadan, you want to, you know, you want to go to like five pages a day and like absolutely do that every single day of your life until next Ramadan when you will turn the notch up. And that's how you can have a ferociously good Ramadan is by is by uh, being ready to, for the Ibadah and being used to the Ibadah um, by the time Ramadan comes around. By the time Ramadan comes around. So yeah, that's what I would say. This is Amin with Sira Masters. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was useful. If you haven't planned your Ramadan, go check the most recent video on my channel, the one just before this. Go and plan it. And then keep the tips in this uh, video in mind as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.